engage with children once they have been released from our care. One way is the safety and well being call that is made 30 days, 30 to 37 days after they've been released. There is no obligation for a child or sponsor to answer this call, and there are a number of reasons why they might not want to answer a call from government. We also have a number of other touch points, some of them lighter than others. We have the ORR National Call Center. That is a call center that is operated 24 hours a day, seven days a week, that takes calls from children, from sponsors, from anyone in the community that has a concern or a question about a, an unaccompanied um, child. So that, um, that call center is available. And then as I mentioned, we are providing more legal and post-release services in the history of the program. We are very- As a moral matter, I mean, should, should students who are here, foreigners who are here in this country, accessing our university system and advocating for the killing of Jews, should they be allowed to stay here at our leisure? Um, Senator, it is a matter of law and uh, it requires a legal interpretation and I am not in a position to provide that legal interpretation. And let me add something. Well, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I just, Mark, my time is very limited. You said that your answer is disappointing, but let me ask you something else. Let, let me ask you about people who say other things. What about people who say things like, on October the 7th, F Israel, I'm cleaning up the language here. F Israel, the government and its military, are you ready for your downfall? People who say things like F Israel and any Jew who supports Israel. May your conscience haunt your dreams until your last breath. Palestine will be free one day. F apartheid Israel and is any Israeli. What, this is pretty extreme rhetoric, don't you think? distinction between espousing or endorsing terrorist ideology and uh, speech uh, that is uh, odious that does not rise to that um, level. Fair enough. This person works for you. Mm. This is Nuja Ali, an employee of the Department of Homeland Security, who posted these comments on October the 7th. That's not all she posted. She also posted this graphic. Now, this is a fake graphic, I want to be clear, but I think we understand it. This is a paraglider, a Hamas paraglider, depicted here with a machine gun flying into Israel. She posted it under her online alias with the celebratory Free Palestine. Secretary, what, what's going on? Is this, is this typical of, of people who work at DHS? This is an asylum and immigration officer who is posting these, frankly, pro-genocidal slogans and images on the day that Israelis are being slaughtered in their beds. What have you done about this? Two or three things I'd like to say to you. Number one, your question to suggest that it, that is emblematic of the men and women of the Department of Homeland Security is despicable. I'm what sorry, but what have you done? This person works for the Department of Homeland Security. Have you fired her? One of four answers. Have you fired her? One. Have you fired her? Don't come to this hearing room when Israel has been invaded and Jewish students are barricaded in libraries in this country and cannot be escorted out because they are threats to their lives. You have employees who are celebrating genocide and you are saying it's despicable for me to ask the question? Has she been fired? After um, the consumption has she been fired? I will not like an answer. Would you because I will not be giving the other Has she been fired? So uh, that individual has been placed on administrative leave. So she's not been fired. Number two. Why number has two, she not been fired? Number two, the individual was hired in 2019. Why has she not been number fired? Number three, I cannot speak to an ongoing personnel matter. Why attention to the fact that she is an immigration and asylum officer? Hashtag immigrants, hashtag asylum seekers, hashtag Palestine, hashtag refugees welcome. This is on her LinkedIn post where she has her professional affiliation posted. So I think the American people deserve to know, has, has she admitted, contrary to law, individuals who should not be in this country or denied Jewish refugees 
whose genocide she's advocating, asylum that they deserve. You're not gonna you're not gonna tell us what this person's done. Are you conducting review of her cases at least? I have said over and over again, I cannot speak to an ongoing. You said that you will not. I can't believe that you would come to this committee knowing this. You know about this. I've written to you about it. You know all about it. And you come here unwilling to answer and suggest that it is wrong of me to ask you the question. Quite frankly, Mr. Secretary, I think that your performance is despicable. And I think the fact that you are not willing to provide answers to this committee is absolutely atrocious. Attention to the fact that she is an immigration and asylum officer. Hashtag immigrants, hashtag asylum seekers, hashtag Palestine, hashtag refugees welcome. This is on her LinkedIn post where she has her professional affiliation posted. So I think the American people deserve to know, has, has she admitted, contrary to law, individuals who should not be in this country or denied Jewish refugees, whose genocide she's advocating, asylum that they deserve? You're not gonna, you're not gonna tell us what this person's done. Are you conducting review of her cases at least? Over and over again, I cannot speak to an ongoing. You said that you will not. I can't believe that you would come to this committee knowing this. You know about this. I've written to you about it. You know all about it. And you come here unwilling to answer and suggest that it is wrong of me to ask you the question. Quite frankly, Mr. Secretary, I think that your performance is despicable. And I think the fact that you are not willing to provide answers to this committee is absolutely atrocious.